Enough words. How does a part of the world leave the world? How can wetness leave water? Don't try to put out fire by throwing on more fire. Don't wash a wound with blood. No matter how fast you run, your shadow more than keeps up with you. Sometimes it's in front. Only full overhead sun diminishes your shadow. But that shadow has been serving you. What hurts you, blesses you. Darkness is your candle. Your boundaries are your quest. I can't explain this, but it would break the glass over my heart and there's no fixing that you must have shadow and light sources both Listen and lay your head under the tree of all. When from that tree feathers and wings sprout, be quieter than a dove. Don't open your mouth, even a coo. When the frog slips into the water, the snake cannot get it. Then the frog climbs back up and croaks. And the snake moves towards him again. Even if the frog learns to hiss, still the snake would hear through the hiss. The information he needed from the frog was underneath. But 
if the frog could be completely silent. Then the snake could go back to sleeping. And the frog could reach the barley. The soul lives there in the silent breath. And that grain of barley is such that when you put in the ground, it grows. These enough words, or shall I squeeze more juice from you? Who am I 